This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next concept is formal charge on an atom in a Lewis structure. Okay. So in this formal charge, Lewis, uh, as we have studied about Lewis dot structure in general, don't represent the actual shape of the molecules. Okay. So Lewis structure, uh, this is the formal charge on an atom in a Lewis structure. So, uh, but uh, as we have studied about the Lewis dot structure in general, they don't represent the actual shape of the molecules. In case of polyatomic ions, the net charge is possessed by the ion as a whole and not by a particular atom okay so there is a formal charge formal charge it is uh, having uh, uh, the formula like the formal charge of an atom in a Lewis structure is equal to uh, this is total number of valence electrons in the free atom and minus total number of uh, non bonding electrons minus half into total number of bonding or shared electrons okay so formal charge can be defined as the difference between the number of valence electrons of that atom in isolated or free state and the number of electrons assigned to that atom in the Lewis structure okay so i will uh, uh, formal charge can be defined as formal charge that can be defined as the uh, difference between the difference between the number of valence electrons valence electrons of that atom in an isolated or free state and uh, number of electrons assigned to that atom in the Lewis structure so you can write down this one the formal charge is defined as the difference between the number of valence electrons of that atom in an isolated or free state and the number of electrons assigned to that atom in the Lewis structure so this is the formal charge just now I explained you about the formal charge next I will uh, explain you how to use that formal charge and you know the formula so the counting is based on the assumption that the atom in the molecule owns one electron of each shared pair and both the electrons on of a lone pair so let us consider the ozone molecule ozone so consider the ozone molecule that is O3 in this the Lewis structure can be drawn Lewis structure for this the Lewis structure for the ozone molecule that is uh, I can write like this O O three and we have to share the number of uh, electrons this is one and uh, this is two I will name them as like this three mm. and uh, see here there are the two electrons I will write okay so and uh, here it should have two six eight number of electrons so here I already two is there so it is sharing again 
eight electrons like this it is also having now this is four and remaining four are shared here this is shared one two and it should have how many six electrons like one two four five and six okay so this is the Lewis structure the atoms have been numbered as one two and three in that the first one the central atom central O atom marked as the atom one in that so according to the formula the formal charge is equal to total number of valence electrons in the free atom total number of valence electrons in the free atom how much how many in total number of free electrons uh, how many number of electrons are there in total number of free electrons means there are six okay then minus of uh, total number of uh, uh, bonding electrons is two in the first set case you see then after that half uh, total number of bonding electrons okay so this is non bonding electrons here i am writing bonding electrons two uh, and here two bonding electrons means one one bond this one is and this one is two this is third total six bond six electrons are shared two three so six so you remaining with plus one so in the second uh, atom if you are considering that is same six number of uh, valence electrons in the free atom minus of total number of uh, uh, non-bonding electrons here non-bonding electrons means total four is there okay minus of total number of bonding or shared electrons 4 how much you are getting this one is 0 then come to the third case in the third case total 6 minus um, how many number of non bonding 6 minus of 2 is equal to minus 1 so remember this 1 plus 1 and this is 0 and this is minus 1 okay and we can represent them as so this is O okay there are 2 here 4 So this is having plus 1 that's why we are writing plus here this is having minus this is not 0 so this can be represented like this along with the formal charge this is along with So generally the lowest energy structure is the one with the smallest formal charges on the atoms. Okay. Generally the lowest energy structure is a lowest energy structure is the one with So the smallest formal charges on the atoms. So the formal charge is a factor based on a pure covalent view of bonding in which electron pairs are shared equally by neighboring atoms. So this is about the formal charge. Next is limitation of the octet rule. There are three limitations in this octet, octet rule. That is the incomplete octet of the central atom, odd electron molecules and the expanded octet. Okay, so I will explain you each and everything in detail here. The first is the incomplete octet of the central atom. So it means the incomplete act. Uh, octet of the central atom before going to that the octet rule the useful is not which is not acceptable in uh, universal uh, it is uh, quite useful for understanding the structure of uh, most of the organic compounds and it applies mainly to the second periodic elements of the periodic table this is applicable only to the second uh, 
ओके सेकेंड पीरियड एलिमेंट सेकेंड second period elements of the periodic table in the first thing the incomplete octet of the central atom so it means in some compounds the number of electrons surrounding the central atom is less than the eight okay so uh, this is especially the case with the elements having less than the four valence electrons so less than less than eight surrounding uh, or uh, some compounds electrons surrounding the central atom so they are less than the 8 g h sorry this is 8 e i g h less than the 8 surrounding electrons okay so especially in case of the elements with the less than the, in the case of some of the this is in some compounds in compounds less than the 8 so in case of uh, elements uh, which is less than the 4 okay so example uh, lithium and Cl chloride then uh, this is Li cl and the next one is b e h 2 this is b next b cl 3 here b cl 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 So this is in the first case. Next, next one is odd electron odd electron molecules. So in molecules with an odd number of electrons, then molecules with odd number of electrons like nitric oxide N and O or number of electrons so example for this is nitric oxide okay next one is the expanded octet it means the expanded octet you know what do you mean by expanded octet when the number of surrounding electrons are more than that of the eight that is known as expanded octet okay so uh, in the com in a number of compounds of these elements there are some more than eight valence electrons around the central atom more than eight more than eight valence electrons okay uh, around the central atom around the central atom this is termed as expanded octet in the this is in compounds okay so i will write you example for this P of 5 how you can write this one P so so I will write down the example here P of 5 so this is P F okay this is also F One, two, one, six. 
so this is the example for an octet expanded octet okay next so here 10 electrons around the p atom see 2 2 2 2 2 total of 10 electrons are there in or uh, are there around the p atom okay so this is the expanded octet next still you are having uh, other drawbacks uh, in this one uh, okay so this is pf5 uh, here just consider this is the one bond this is one bond one two three total one two three four and uh, five bonds are there in between p and f so this is the um, uh, so hence we can say that there are total of 10 number of electrons around the p atom okay then still it is having other drawbacks so the other drawbacks of the octet there is uh, it is clear that the octet rule is based upon the chemical internness of noble gases okay so uh, however some noble gases also combine with the oxygen and fluorine to form a number of compounds okay then uh, this theory does not account for the shape of molecule this theory does not uh, account for the shape of molecules for the shape of molecules okay and the next one is it does not explain the relative stability of the molecules it does not explain the relative stability of the molecules being totally silent about the energy of the molecule okay so this is the one this is the second one the other drawbacks of octet theory